we'll develop here one more concept that is the equivalent twisting moment and the equivalent bending moment for this one we'll consider here one solid shaft and we have a flywheel here of weight equal to w and this shaft is supported by pins of two bearing at a and at b so we model this as a simply supported in addition to this the flywheel is subjected to a torque is equal to t and for simplicity we assume that the flywheel is mounted equidistant from a and b so let's say this length equal to l as well as this length equal to l the weight is equally divided between the two reaction at a and b so due to symmetrical loading here we our reaction at a will be ra and the reaction at b equal to rb and we our ra is same as equal to rb is same as equal to w by 2 so we will develop here the shear force diagram and the bending moment diagram and one diagram will develop for torque so that we come to know where we have a maximum bending moment so the two reaction ra and rb both are equal to w by 2 so we have ra is equal to w by 2 that is a weight divided by 2 as well as rb is also equal to w divided by 2 first we construct here the shear force diagram at point a we have the reaction is acting upward that is w by 2 so we'll show the force that is the shear force equal to w by 2 between a and c no shear force is acting so shear force is remain constant suddenly at point c we have a point load is acting equal to w so you have to move downward this one is w by 2 and we have minus w so we'll show here this value is equal to total w this one is w by 2 and minus w so the shear force at this point will be equal to minus w by 2 between b and c there is no shear force acting so shear force is remain constant so the shear force acting from c to b is remain constant and is equal to minus w by 2 and finally with the reaction rb will close it to zero so this one is a shear force diagram a to c we have positive value of the shear force and c to b we have negative value of the shear force bending moment at point a and the bending moment at point b will be equal to zero and the maximum bending moment will occur at c because there is a sign change of a shear force at point c so we have bending moment diagram bending moment at point a is zero bending moment at point b is also equal to zero area of the shear force diagram that is this rectangle which has a height equal to w by 2 and the length equal to l so the maximum bending moment will be w by 2 multiplied by l and this is a positive value and this one is a rectangle so you have to show the triangle so in this case we have maximum bending moment m will be equal to w into l divided by 2 this one is maximum value exactly at point c same area is minus w by 2 into l but negative value so the maximum it will become zero at point b we have a rectangle so again we get here triangle so in this case we have maximum value of the bending moment so bm maximum will be equal to w into l by 2 we will just represent this value as capital m you have to understand here this value of m will be the maximum bending moment so c is a critical section as far as the torque is considered torque is remain constant over the entire cross section so the maximum value of the torque will be equal to t the bending moment will produce the bending stress that will be sigma b maximum and sigma b maximum is given as m into y divided by i we'll model this one as a circular section so for circular section value of y is d by 2 and the value of i is pi by 64 d to the power 4 m y is equal to d divided by 2 and value of i is pi by 64 64 will shift in numerator divided by d to the power 4 so in this case we get the maximum bending stress is equal to 32 times m divided by pi into d cube and we our torque is equal to pi by 16 into d cube multiplied by tau max 
so we have tau max that is the maximum shear in a shaft will be equal to 16 times t divided by pi d cube so whenever we have only two load acting one is a torque and one is a bending moment so this critical element at point C is subjected to two load, one acting along the x-axis and one is a shear stress that is the value of tau max equal to 16 times t pi d cube. So the state of stress we can show by here tau maximum which is equal to 16 times t by pi d cube and one normal stress act that is the bending stress will act and the value of the bending stress will be equal to 32 times m by pi d cube. So when the element is subjected to two stresses that is tau max and the value of bending stress which one is same as sigma x we can calculate here the principal stresses and the maximum shear stress. So for given state of stress the value of sigma b will represent as sigma x. So we have sigma x is equal to 32 m by pi d cube and the given value of the tau max which is 16 times t by pi d cube will represent as tau xy and from known value of sigma x and tau xy we can calculate the maximum shear that value of the maximum shear if we calculate only on the basis of twisting moment then it will be called as equivalent twisting moment so here introduce a one term t that is called as the equivalent twisting moment and this equivalent twisting moment will produce the same maximum shear tau max which is produced by the maximum shear for the given state of stress and this state of stress is due to the bending moment m and the twisting moment t. So the value of t we can write in terms of maximum value of tau max that will be equal to pi by 16 into d cube multiplied by tau max and this value of tau max will be equal to 16 times equivalent torque divided by pi d cube this is the meaning of the first line and the maximum shear produced due to bending moment and twisting moment we can calculate as we have tau max equal to sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 whole square plus we have tau x y square so this one is the basic formula used to calculate the maximum shear in this case we have under root of sigma x sigma x is same as 32 m by pi d cube sigma y will be equal to 0 divided by 2 you will get here this value equal to 16 m pi d cube so we have 16 m by pi d cube we have square of it we have shear stress tau x y square that will be 16 times t divided by pi into d cube and we are whole square left hand side here we'll substitute for tau max equal to 16 times t divided by pi d cube this is a square term and under root so pi d cube will be get cancel 16 will get cancel and we get a formula here that we have equivalent torque t is same as equal to under root of m square plus t square that is if you try to solve for maximum shear using this formula and if you try to solve by finding the value of t is equal to under root of m square plus t square and then finally you put tau max equal to 16 times of t by pi d cube you will get the same value of the maximum shear that is the concept of equivalent twisting moment similar to that we can develop the concept for equivalent bending moment so if the shaft is subjected to one bending moment and one twisting moment then you can calculate the value of equivalent twisting moment and then using the formula we can one step directly calculate the value of tau max so we have tau max equal to 16 times t equivalent divided by pi d cube so we can avoid this step because it is a time consuming technique simply you can calculate t and then you can calculate t max in a similar fashion we can define here the equivalent bending moment also 
So one concept we have developed is a equivalent twisting moment. That is a quick calculation for tau max and we can calculate tau max equal to 16 times of T by pi dq is same as under root of sigma x minus sigma y by 2 whole square plus tau xy. That is this one is a shear stress due to the bending plus twisting. Similarly, we can calculate here the maximum normal stress by one concept which one is called as equivalent bending moment. So ME represents the equivalent bending moment which will produce the same maximum normal stress which replaces the maximum normal stress produced due to the bending moment M and the twisting moment equal to T. So in this case we have to use the formula for maximum normal stress. Maximum normal stress formula is given as sigma maximum is equal to sigma x plus sigma y divided by 2 plus same bracket we'll repeat here that is sigma max equal to sigma x plus sigma y by 2 plus under root of sigma x minus sigma y whole square plus tau xy square i am interested in the positive value therefore i have selected here positive value and equivalent bending moment produces the same maximum normal stress it means that we have to write this value as sigma max will be equal to 32 times m equivalent divided by pi d cube. So both these values sigma x and tau xy are replaced by one sigma max and this value of sigma max is same as 32 times m equivalent divided by pi d cube. Here sigma x is equal to 32 m by pi d cube and sigma y is 0. So we have 1 by 2 multiplied by 32 m by pi d cube plus this bracket is same as equal to tau max that equal to 16 times t divided by pi d cube. So pi d cube, pi d cube, pi d cube will be get cancelled. So this value of pi d cube, this value of pi d cube and this value of pi d cube is cancelled. Now 32, 32 and 16. So what we will do here, I will adjust this value. I will write here 32 and divide by 2. In that case, my 32 will also get cancelled. So we have 32 times me equal to 1 by 2. Purposefully, I am writing here 1 by 2, 32 times m plus we have 1 by 2. This one is an adjustment multiplied by 32, multiplied by t. Remember here, t is equal to under root of t square plus m square. So at this stage here, 32. 32 and 32 is also cancelled. So we left here with equivalent bending moment will be equal to 1 by 2 of bending moment m plus t. And recall that we have value of t is same as under root of m square plus t square. So in this case we have equivalent bending moment is equal to 1 by 2 into m plus t is replaced as under root of m square plus t square. So this one is a shortcut method to find out the maximum value of a bending stress. Just calculate the value of me is equal to 1 by 2 m plus under root of m square plus t square and if using this value we can very quickly calculate the value of sigma maximum value that is the maximum normal stress. And if you are interested to know what is the maximum shear for the given element subjected to bending moment m and twisting moment t, then you can calculate the value of t equivalent. And if you calculate the value of t equivalent, which is given as under root of m square plus t square, then you can calculate the maximum shears produced. This shear stress is same effect as produced by sigma x and tau x y. Can be quickly calculated as 16 times t divided by pi d q. So anytime you come across a shaft which is subjected to both the bending moment as well as the twisting moment, then you are able to develop the state of a stress and you can calculate the value of sigma x equal to 32 m by pi d cube and tau x y equal to 16 times t by pi d cube. And if you ask to find out what is the value of the maximum normal stress, then we can use the formula as sigma x plus sigma y by 2 plus under root of sigma x minus sigma y by 2 whole square plus tau xy square and if you ask to find out what is the maximum shear stress 
is given by under root of sigma x minus sigma y by 2 square plus tau xy square. Actually here this one is a time consuming technique rather than this if you find out the value of m equivalent m equivalent will be equal to 1 upon 2 into m plus under root of m square plus t square. So there is no need to calculate sigma x and tau xy directly you can calculate me and this value of me is same as equal to pi divided by 32 into d cube into sigma maximum that is the maximum normal stress. So I suppose this one is a very quick formula to calculate the value of sigma max as compared to this formula. Secondly, you can calculate equivalent twisting moment T which is nothing but under root of m square plus t square. Actually this value of m is a maximum bending moment and t is a twisting moment and equate this value as pi by 16 multiplied by d cube multiplied by tau max. So these two are the alternative formula for these two formula and hence they will be called as the equivalent bending moment and equivalent twisting moment. This formula will not applicable if any compressive or any tensile load will act through the axis. It is strictly applicable when the shaft is subjected to one bending moment and one twisting moment. Another advantage of this formula is that since the value of sigma max is fixed and suppose the value of t become equal to 0 in that case you can calculate here how much maximum bending moment the shaft can be subjected. Suppose we have the torque applied for the given system is equal to t which is equal to 30 kilo newton meter and we have bending moment m is equal to 40 kilo newton meter. And the question asked here is that what is the maximum torque that you can apply. So if you apply the maximum torque, the condition is that the tau max value must be remain same. It means that the maximum torque you can apply will be equal to T. So maximum torque will be equal to T is under root of T square plus M square. That is we have under root of 30 square plus 40 square that will be same as equal to 50. So maximum torque in this case will be 50 kilonewton meter. This torque will produce the same shear stress that is the value of tau max which is produced by 30 plus 40 as per this theory and as per this formula. Now another question they can ask you what is the maximum value of the bending moment. So maximum value of bending moment will be that value which will produce the same maximum stress. In that case you can calculate the value of me as equal to 1 by 2 into m plus under root of m square plus t square is same as equal to t. That is we have 1 by 2 value of m is equal to 40 and value of t is equal to 50. So in this case the maximum bending moment you can apply is 90 by 2. 90 by 2 is equal to 45 kilo newton meter. When we say the maximum bending moment then the torque will be equal to 0 and when we say the maximum torque in that case the bending moment will be equal to 0. So the question is expected here what is the maximum torque we can apply maximum bending moment we can apply or we can calculate the maximum normal stress or we can calculate the maximum shear stress rather than going by regular principal stress method we will calculate here me and we will equate the value of me equal to pi by 32 d cube into sigma max then we can calculate the maximum principal stress and the for maximum shear stress we can calculate t which is under root of m square plus t square equate this value with pi by 16 d cube and we can calculate the maximum value of the shear stress and the video you are watching is from the app which is the more class app available on google store and in this app we will cover all subjects involved in mechanical engineering for gate. Join the course directly from your mobile. The link is given here.